As San Diegans continue to feel the impacts of the January 22nd floods, city leaders will vote today if it will continue the state of emergency that has released funds to help flood victims. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas joins us live from City Hall to break down what extending this state of emergency means. Sierra. Good morning, Mel. Extending the state of emergency would mean that the city would continue to have access to funds it wouldn't normally have access to. It would also open the door for the city to qualify for some state funding. Now, so far in response to the flood, the city has allocated $10 million to take care of the aftermath, has made grants available to small businesses, and has set up resource centers and flood impacted neighborhoods, to name a few. The flood changed lives, forcing many families to stay in hotels while working to repair water damage or look for a new place to call home. The impacts of the flood haven't just been physical. Nearly two months later, people we've spoken to say they're still experiencing mental health impacts. Our team spoke to a substance abuse counselor who's helping flood victims process the moment that changed their lives and took away their homes. Our residents are on edge, it's PTSD, um, and a lot of trauma. Our residents are sitting in the hotels and they're forced to sit with their thoughts. And as these residents continue to pick up the pieces and deal with these mental health impacts, the City Council will make the vote inside of City Council chambers later this morning. The meeting begins at 10 a.m. For now, live downtown, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.